in the story, the siblings have a misunderstanding about Eddie's pet, and Delia has a habit of destroying anything that Eddie likes. The story started when Eddie saw his sister beating his dog with a stick. He felt hate like a cage, angry bees in his chest. He couldn't help Uberyuk nor cry to his sister because she had a weak heart. Eddie started recalling the things that happened in the past and every rude things his sister did to him. The story continues as Eddie recalls everything that happened in the past. He met Buryuk while hunting with his father when a lost dog came to them and eventually became Eddie's best friend. Eddie described his sister as the meanest creature he knew. His conflict with her sister began when he accidentally turned the leg of Delia's doll in the grass hut, and he was furiously hit by his sister until she collapsed. Nothing Eddie did ever please her. Destroying willfully anything he liked had become a habit for her. She even told Berto to kill the monkey because it sneakered at her one morning while she was brushing her teeth. Eddie did not tell anything when she told father that she didn't like Eddie's pigeon's house because it stunk and he had to give away his pigeons. Eddie injured everything. He learned how to hold himself because he knew they had to put up with her whims to keep her calm and quiet. But when she dumped her butterflies into a waste gun and burned them in the backyard, he realized that she was spitting him. When Eddie returned home one afternoon from school, he saw his butterflies burned. Only arrogantly replied to their gently explaining, Father, that they were attracting ants. The story returned from the current timeline where Eddie was running for Beirut as it was bitten by his sister. He saw one of its eyes was bleeding and discovered that the stick Delia was using stopped the eye of his dog. Eddie got a big centipede that Bertha found under the stock he chopped. He made sure that it was dead and placed it in the white cloth. He unwrapped and drew it on the lap of his sister whom he hated so much. His sister collapsed. Her voice dragged off into a painstaking moan. Eddie was engulfed by sudden feeling pity and guilt. He cried kneeling before her, telling her that the centipede was dead.